Are the insults from the Trump side of the world kind of out mouthing all of the intellectual debate? Is the noise overshadowing the, the real issues that, for instance, we talked about in the debate? So in social media, it seems like the thing that all of these campaigns are looking for and what everyone wants to find is this authenticity and this authentic voice and this voice that resonates. And honestly, the only candidate you know, who is speaking authentically as his authentic self on social media is Donald Trump. Um, like he, ha he is the one who writes his tweets, who clearly writes his tweets, who like, <laughs> you know, like speaks in, this, in his true voice. Um, and it's like a paradox to me why that's kind of compelling. I mean, I think part of it is like, you know, politicians are not entertainers. Um, they are not, you know, like we've all read Hillary's emails. Like, she's really smart, she's really competent. Right. Is, is it like the most fascinating, witty, shareable, compelling content you've ever read? No, it's like just some facts, you know? Um, so if she were to write her own tweets, like I don't know how, how compelling that would be. I don't know, I, I think, yeah. Um, I think the other, the, other, um, the, the other campaigns have much more of like this brand, this brand voice and they're straddling this line between being brands and trying to be authentic and sometimes they're hitting these false notes that I think um, ring really awkwardly for people, um, you know, in our generation and, and younger.